finally found a place that's us lotus blossom lily pads close enough to the shore where I can get a decent photo. Nice. <clears throat> this is so totally in the tradition of the baronial English manor <laughs> kind of thing. We may have created a republic and we may have repudiated a king, but really give us a little time and we'll be back to that shit before you know it. <laughs> us you monkeys just love to be special. This is the worst thing about our makeup. Oh, look at that, a little charming folly. <laughs> More stuff in the English tradition. <laughs> Is that a video camera mounted in the eye? <laughs> Where's the ear? Presumably, oh yes, the trail crosses this little dike. There's a Sudbury off in the distance. Rolling on. You can drink muddy water, and if you're small enough, sleep in a hollow log. And we have some boat people, no doubt fishing. Looks like a place that have some pickerel in it. Now we're near the <coughs> southern wing of Great Meadows National Wildlife Refuge. This thing they call the Pantry Brook Unit. Old. There's another beaver deceiver. <laughs> wow, nice little water course. Reasonably oxygenated. I love moving water. Fine pastoral sand. And now we get to go. Further south, ever more Duxbury Wood. Probably heading near the boundary with Wayland. A little sign demarking private property. A bunch of canoes. Indications of Aquatic vegetation treatment, a private conservation property, so no power boats, no tents, no camping, no fires. They don't seem to care if you have leashless dogs, so maybe all those skanks with the nuts should just come over here. <laughs> then they'll probably discover that <laughs> that's a drag, so they'll forbid the things from coming here too.
little bit of an ascent. Closing in on private homes. And a turn is indicated. Yeah, I imagine this is a popular area for upscale status home deployment. And a ways forward is indicated. It's the Farrar Pond Conservation Trust. No bikes, please. They even say please. <laughs> no leashless mutts, please. <laughs> Actually, I think that's okay here. So half the problem is the scuzzy mutt walkers are too dumb to find the places amid all this robust wealth of protected property where they can walk their mutts to their heart's content. It's just an, another bit of poor planning and lousy research and a crappy understanding of the various amenities available to you. Ooh, there's an actual logo. And we pass through here. This is part of a more comprehensive Lincoln Town system. Oh, we're now entering another low-lying wetland place of maximum skeeters. minimum winds to discourage their depredations. Pleasant little simple trail. Little twists and turns. Looks old too. That trail sign back there is 
worn. Some sassafras. 